Hi guys, this video is a part of my video course on Swift Programming with Parse Practical Examples, which covers features like user sign up, sign in, sign out, email verification, password reset, and many other useful features. And now it has an entirely new section on sending and receiving push notifications, and all of it for the price of a cup of coffee. Please check out this course, it's absolutely worth it. The link to the course is in the description to this video. Okay, so we have Apple Development Push Services Certificate created. We have Apple uh, App ID uh, created. And the next step is for us to generate a development provisioning uh, profile. But we cannot do it unless we first register a device. And we need uh, to register a device because we otherwise we cannot uh, be testing push notification um, without the device. So to register a device, select um, all from the list of devices here and then uh, click on plus button in the top right corner. And to register device, we need to know, uh, we need to provide a name and UDID of this device. So I will um, give a name of my device, I'll call it iPhone 5, I'm using iPhone 5. And to find out what is the UDID of my iPhone 5 device, I will need to connect my device uh, with the uh, cable to my computer. And then uh, once my device is connected, I will go to Xcode. And from the window um, menu here, I will uh, choose devices. And this will open uh, a window and my device will be listed on the left side panel. I have Mac and I have device iPhone connected. And if I look at the device information here, it, it shows the name of the device model. And the last uh, row is uh, identifier. So I'll need to copy this identifier and go back to my um, a web browser and paste it into UDID field and click on continue. This will register my device and I will uh, need to tap on the register button and registration is complete. I click on done. Okay, so device is now registered. Now I can go to a provisioning profile section and choose development. Again, when we are ready to um, test uh, and submit our application to an app store, we will need to come back here and create a provisioning for profile for distribution. So um, the first provisioning profile that I want to create is development. So I'll uh, click on add button here and um, I will choose iOS app development and then click on continue. And I'll need to select uh, an app ID, I have only one app listed. If you have more apps, you will need to choose the one you're creating this provisioning profile for. Continue. And we are asked to create a new certificate. And this time we will need to create development certificate. So I'll click on uh, create certificate button. Uh, from the list of options, I'll choose iOS app development. Scroll down, click on continue and uh, we are asked uh, to create a new certificate signing request. So I'll continue, but I will not uh, create a new one. I'll select the one uh, we have uh, created um, just a few minutes ago. It is on uh, uh, my desktop. And I will uh, click on generate button. Okay, my app development certificate is ready and I will need to download it to my computer. I'll click on download button. Once certificate is downloaded, I will uh, go to my downloads folder and open it. And that will uh, open and add it to my keychain access. So if I go to my keychain access application, I should be able to find iPhone development iPhone developer certificate for uh, with my first name and last name. Okay, so uh, this is done. Now I can go um, to a provisioning profiles and uh, tap on plus button to create a new provisioning profile. I'll choose iOS uh, app development. Continue. 
select on the app id continue now choose a certificate ios development because we are creating a provisioning profile for a development purposes and click continue next i need to select devices i will be using this provision profile with i'll choose my uh, device i have only one device registered so far click continue and now i will need to give my provision profile a name so i will uh, call it um, my photo app development profile and click on generate this will generate provisioning profile and I can uh, download it to my computer. And just like with certificates, once the provisioning profile is downloaded, I will go to my downloads folder and click on the provisioning profile. This will open provisioning profile and it will add it to my Xcode. I will then be able to go to uh, uh, my project targets and then I will actually start with the project my project folder go to build settings and search for signing code signing identity here and under provisioning profile i'll be able to select uh, provisioning profile i have just downloaded my photo app development profile and at this moment let's make all other values match this provisioning profile we've just created so I will um, make my release a provision profile, match the uh, development profile, and I will scroll up and um, make uh, other values to point to this provision profile as well. And now I will switch to uh, targets, select my photo app, and we'll make sure that all values are pointing to the same provision profile. Okay, now let's go back to our uh, development portal and uh, we will select distribution and we will create one for distribution as well. So uh, I will um, first go and create a certificate for production. Click on add. Under production, I will choose app and ad hoc. We're going to create a provisioning profile for ad hoc so that we can be testing on devices click uh, continue and uh, we'll continue with um, CSR as well select the sign-in request I have it stored on my desktop and then generate download certificate to my computer open it so that it gets installed into my application keychain and now I will go to distribution under provisioning profiles and I can create a new provision profile for my ad hoc so now under distribution here I will choose ad hoc click on create select app ID click on continue select the certificate and this time is distribution rather than development continue select the device i will be testing it on continue and i will give my provisioning profile a, a name i'll call it my photo app ad hoc ad hoc profile and i will click on generate button this will generate a provisioning profile and i can download it to my computer okay once a provisioning profile is downloaded i will open it so that it gets installed into my xcode and now i'll go back to our project and i will actually switch to info and under configuration options i will click on plus button here and i will duplicate release configuration and i will rename it to ad hoc okay uh, we have debug, release, and ad hoc. Debug, debug will be for development purposes, release will be for App Store, and ad hoc will be for distributing our application through test flight or hockey app, or running on devices and testing it um, with push notifications. Uh, okay, now let's go back to um, build settings and look for code signing 
identity and choose of release make release a match the ad hoc profile and make make ad hoc match the ad hoc profile as well so debug should be uh, debug should be matching development profile and release and ad hoc should be matching ad hoc profile and i'll, I'll make sure that uh, values above match correct properties as well so debug should be matching development profile that's correct release should be matching ad hoc profile and ad hoc should be matching ad hoc profile as well okay and now i'll switch to targets and we'll make sure that release is matching ad hoc and ad hoc is matching ad hoc so everything looks to be correct and i think we are done here so i will save my project and uh, we can continue